Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new episode of Tokyo Ghoul Reinvoke. And today's episode, what we're here to do is realize that they confirmed the English version last night. So last night, the maintenance for the end of the occupation war came around. Basically, everything finished up, new banners dropped, they brought around the new uh, Arima, I think this is the birthday one? Honestly, I don't really know a whole lot about the banners that came before I started playing, uh, so that's kind of just my bad, but... Apparently, he's really solid, and he is a light character, so the Narukami or Arima is here. But as that dropped, as well, they also dropped a trailer on, uh, it appears to be called 876 TV, a official Bandai, or an official Bandai Namco uh, channel on YouTube. And basically, it confirms that we are going to be getting reinvoked in English. Granted, it's going to be called Tokyo Ghoul Rebirth, so I guess we're doing that, but... I'm really excited for it. I watched the trailer through once and just kind of skipped through a lot of it. And I really enjoyed the banter they had inside it. And they did showcase a lot of the art that they had, uh, particularly. You do see a lot of the... It's basically like... There's so much hype surrounding this game currently. Um, and with it coming to English now, I have a feeling that it's going to become quite large. It's just a matter of seeing where it ends up coming from here on out. It is confirmed becoming inside fall 2018, so like we're on our way there. Uh, we're currently, I guess, we're about to hit fall in February or September. February, September. Is it like 22nd or so? So next couple months. I'm excited for it. Once the anime comes back, this is going to be able to cover the anime as it's coming out in English as well. I'm really excited for it. Probably I'll I'll roll on my phone for the English version, and then just keep the whatever version for this. Um, I also want to point out, at the end of the trailer, they have a very, very strange tagline that just says, this world is yours to devour. And I mean... I guess... You probably shouldn't. Um, the, the world was that guy who got high on bath salts to devour too. That didn't go well for him. Don't get naked and eat people. But despite what Reinvoke is telling you. Or Rebirth. It's not Reinvoke. Reinvoke is different. Tokyo Ghoul Rebirth is telling you. God, it's so goofy. But I, I'm really excited for it. Uh, I'm definitely going to be playing on both servers. And we'll probably try and get the uh, official translations off of both. I'm happy. If they do end up catching up the banners uh, equally at the same time. Once the game drops in English. That would be really, really interesting. Um, it's really curious how it's going to end up working, but we'll get there. Oh, and additionally, along with that occupation war that ended, um, we know that Chirazu is going to be dropped as the next occupation war starts at the beginning of uh, next week, next Tuesday or so. Um, what we didn't know is apparently the, a new art was added to the game as well alongside Chirazu this time in the files in a Fess Psycho. I'll put her up on the right side of the screen right now. She looks amazing. I really like that Reinvoke. So in Tokyo Ghoul Re, the anime, um, they kind of focused really hard on this like grayscale color scheme. And they kind of focused way too hard on that like harsh, mellow tone. And it really doesn't fit Re, my personal opinion. Uh, people like the anime, I understand opinions however i personally think that the colors they're using inside the psycho art and like even the arata arts they use it's such bright vibrant colors it brings this form of almost for these ones for the arata ones it's like a viscera to it and it's like this this vicious glow to the strength that they wield for psycho it's like this glow of like i'm gonna do my best yuck also her reaction is her falling asleep so like i am sold I'm double if they have a combined banner of both Psycho and Shirazu together, I am 100% doing all seven steps. We do have the Hawker right now, so we'll see. Um, I think that's about all we had to cover for this Occupation War and the updates. We had a lot dropped, and I am super ready for the future of this game. Um, I'm unsure about the Takizawa guest that I had before for the birthday thing. Mostly because the, if they were to drop the Occupation War on next Tuesday on the 4th, and then they dropped, 
Oh no. Takizawa's birthday is on Monday, the day before the reset. So I guess that is a week after the wars does start. So that would make sense, actually. So that's what we had for the the Kuroiwa banner as well. Uh, the Shinohara Rata banner, they came around right as the occupation war was starting, and they got boosted on the 14th of August as it was continuing to go. So I guess we might get Takizawa on that day. We'll see, obviously, but... If we get Takizawa before the English release, that would be a really big way to bring people to the game. I think that seeing him, as well as seeing that the English version is coming, would bring so much hype to it. So, we'll see. Now we're going to get into the actual part of, like, viewing my account. Because the actual... We went through a lot of shit. Um, I went ahead and pumped into my grinding as hard as I could. I pushed up to 30 million points. I feel as if there's there's probably a better way to grind it that I just don't know. And like, that's fine and dandy, but I'm happy with the amount I got. Um, we did get another dupe of Retoka here, so that's super helpful. Um, we did get place 412, which when you do, if I can go ahead and scroll down here, uh, you get a bonus two swimsuit Hinamis, two swimsuit Tokas, two Retokas, Three of the pills, three of the haka, three, everything. A lot of threes. I think it's a really solid time. Um, granted, I'm not getting 16 pills here, like I've seen some people get, but like, I'm happy. We also got some benefits off of the other, uh, basically just wards and stuff like that. You get different benefits off of it. Um, in general, fairly solid. We do have SSR tickets for uh, both a normal SSR and a dispatch SSR, which is cool. We have a bunch of gotcha tickets. Uh, we have the retokas. Let's claim this. Alrighty. Um, likely what we are going to start off with before we even do our gotcha pulls. I do want to get Heisei up to his level 2 skill. Um, mostly because I wanted the extra... Actually, we don't really get a whole lot extra here. We get nothing extra. Um... There is a number here that goes from 2 to 3 on the skill, but there's not a whole lot of an increase. The increase I was caring about the most was here, because his skill gives him a 2 times increase to his attack, I believe, when he's at 60% on his skills. So I need to get another 20 pills or so. We'll probably gun for that in the next war. Uh, once we get that, High going to be sitting pretty in the city. I'm happy. I'm happy with what we've done so far. Uh, I will scroll down here. Oh, should we just pop all of these? I mean, it's not like we need to make like a big video about it. We don't really need to hype it up. It will pop these first, just to get them out of the way, just to get their friend points out of the way, because like items are cool regardless. Go, oh, that, that's the weird Hirako art with like the weird bent hand. Here we go. And we'll go ahead and pop this. Perfect. And now we'll get into this. Do I want to do... Here, we'll do our basic tickets first, and then we'll do all our SSRs, because we may as well just pop them all at once and get them out of the way. Uh, who do I even want uh, out of this? Because the premium banner does have some characters that do matter somewhat. Um, Orochi would be low priority, because I don't really need him, because Ritoka actually is a very good force on the team. And, like, actually... She's currently at 40%, but if I go ahead and click this right here, I can put two more dupes into her, and she's almost there. Like, I wasn't able to get the final dupe, unfortunately. Um, and that is going to be a huge deficit for her, because she can't get her final unique skill. But, like... Even so, now it's a plus two AP whenever she uses her skill, by the way. I realize it's AP. For some reason, I thought it was durability, but... Yeah, no. So 20% HP and plus 2 AP is definitely happy with me. I'll take it. But yeah, I don't really need Orochi anymore uh, for that. I'm unsure who's even in this poll that I would care about. Um, if I do get, like, Tatara, Noro, Kori Ui, anyone like that, I'm probably going to end up just selling them. Because, well, they do... Oh! No, that that's... Oh, actually, that is an SSR. Hey, that's cool. Yeah, while they while the SSRs that are premium do have a place in their own right, on my team, they don't. Oh, and that's a dupe donkey. That's definitely going to be some good selling fodder. Actually, 
Fun fact, I actually found out recently that apparently Naki is one of the most beloved characters inside the community of Tokyo Ghoul. And that was an absolute surprise to me. For some reason, I just I looked at Naki and I was just like I'm not a huge fan of him. But like, I guess he's grown on me throughout Re. Because thinking about it, I don't think I hate him anymore. In fact, after Re, I think I actually think I like him as a character. He's a very goofy, like, stand-up guy. I don't know. Naki, you're you're an anomaly. I don't know if I'll sell you yet, because I actually do have a version of you that is usable. So like I haven't leveled up, so clearly he had a purpose on the team at some point. So that's something. I mean, I already put... I already put materials into this guy. Why not max him out at 100% anyway? I mean, that's a solid pl plus 2 AP. Really? His unique skill is plus 2 AP? That's nothing. Here, one second. Let me go through my... T oh! Why is Naki the lead of every single team in the game? Hold up a second. Here, let's go ahead and go... Oh, no, that's already gone through. Naki, you... You're still apparently locked. Whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll check on you in a second. We do have some more pulls to do here. We'll do our 13 dispatches, then we'll do our 3 SSRs. Come on. Um, dispatch. This is not a guaranteed SSR. Please give me Psycho or Noro. I do need them quite direly to be able to be good. That's no luck, though. Oh, that's a very smooth Ryoko. That is a very weirdly smooth Ryoko. I'm very used to seeing, like, the eyes on her Kakuho. Seeing, like, that plain texture to it just makes me uncomfortable. It looks, like, slimy, almost. Weird. In fact, in fact, you know what we can do? I'll just skip through this. Oh, who'd we get? Oh, hey there, Chiche, uh, Hoji. You should have been in Dark War, but I'm glad to have you here anyway. By the way, also train of thought. I have something I was about to say two seconds ago. But, okay, now I remember. In fact, what we can do in this episode is before, uh, before the Occupation War started on this account, um, we went through all of the boss fights that exist on this map, or that existed on this map with like Uta and Tsukiyama and all that, uh, and fought some bosses. However, I struggled to beat uh, two two boss. Well, actually, I didn't struggle to beat this one. I only struggled to beat the Ryoko boss on A tier. We're gonna come for you uh, after we do our last two SSR pulls here, and the dispatch pull, obviously. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see you, Ryoko. I actually can only do these in singles, by the way, so. Let's see if we get the good luck. I actually would be down to get, like, a, a cool premium character. I don't know who is even in here that I care about. That isn't just a basic Noro Yamori fucking mass Kaneki nothing. But we'll see. Please, give me something magical I can't even think of right now. Give me Kuroiwa Arata. That's fucking... That's, that's one of the worst ones he could have given me. Honestly, Yomo is like... I have not found a use for him yet, aside from paralyzation, but like... Arguably, there are so many paralyzed units that are... Just more viable than that green Yomo. Eh. Especially Eto. Eto has been fantastic. I haven't been able to use her recently, because she's not on this account, but like... Oh! I mean, that's a dark, creepy motto, who appears to have very, very premium-looking skills. I want to see that again. Hold the phone here. Hey there, motto. So we have a, a, an attack increase, and a defense increase, and a durability increase, and a 50%. I think that's... I think that's a provoke, actually. I think that's a 50% chance of being targeted. Or, like, having a higher chance of being targeted. And also, it has just the basic, like, oh, more damage when you break people. So that's something. This motto's not too special. In that case, 
I'd say that this is probably the most important and scariest part of this episode because dispatches are kind of what I've been focusing on primarily recently because I've been needing more score and I have a lot more SSR or SSR uh, units that are viable here. Actually, hmm. You know what? I am going to max out this Kaneki. Because, like, there's no point keeping this many of him. I'm not going to be able to use that many anyway. Actually, I could use that many. Like, realistically, I could use this many. Oh, fuck. The thing is, is the 7% even worth it? And I can get other SSRs. Every one of the dupes that goes into him is an only 20% increase, I believe. You actually... Check it. Check it. Uh, 20%, yeah. So I need to put all five of them into him to be able to get that. No, it's more worth it to keep the dispatches for just different ones. Hell, I can run four quests with triple SSRs that are maxed out. That's cool. That That's, that's rad. That's super helpful. Um, plus, I auto is just there, so... We'll keep it... We'll keep it solid. We'll keep it 100. All right. Show me the money. If you bring me Psycho, that's going to bring me luck on the banner that's coming up soon as well. Because her banner is coming real fast. Hopefully. Hopefully it's next week. new oh actually really good dispatch to get um from my understanding noro gives a 50 percent increase to the points you get off of the dispatch quests of which is kind of important when you're trying to grind out the points for extra benefits so i will take that noro i'm gonna go ahead and just fucking let's level you up a little bit i have plenty of bikakus to use anyway so Actually, I do have enough for the next tier as well. You know what? Going up. Moving up in the world. I could actually get you to... Oh, no, I couldn't. I don't have enough Bikakus. I mean, if I spent my tickets for them, I could. But it's probably not worth it. Though, what is that? 1.8, and it appears to have two small markers on it. I'm unsure what this means, but it appears to be an increased chance to have the dispatch quests, which would be very helpful. Maybe I will invest in you. Not right now. Um, but I'll keep you in mind for the future. Thanks, Naro. Either way, I think it's about time we go ahead and finish off this episode with a little bit of a fun time. Now, Ryoko, my friend, my buddy, my pal. I'm going to be real with you. This is unfair. Um, before I went into this quest, before I even tried this quest, before the Occupation War started, I had none of my abilities unlocked. Uh, High Say wasn't boosted. He is currently. He currently has 2,000 attack. He, has, he does 1.5% or 1.5 times damage to all blue units now. She's a blue unit. We have Retoka, which is also a boosted unit, which also is green. I'm not saying that, like, I'm I'm going to lose, because I'm not. I'm guaranteed not going to lose. But this is definitely not a fair fight against this, this woman who just... She was trying to protect her family last time. She did it. She did a great job doing that. But now we're going to shut that down in exchange for the ability to say I, I, I defeated a really strong mom. Efficiency. Uh, I, I don't... I don't really need to build anything here. Because, like... First of all, I hope this rings home how important leveling up your weapon level is in this game. Uh, just first and foremost. Just, just instantly. It is very important. Because quests become swept by the boss. Actually, I wonder if I can do this. To one-shotting the boss. Do it! Do it, Hi Say! Ha! Oh, wow. Yeah, no, never mind. Fuck. 
nowhere close to what I expected. Sumanakya, as he says. He gets very angry. Let's give some bonus AP to everyone as well. Plus two, everybody. God, seeing 12, 12, 16 just feels good. All right, Ryoko. We're going to take a slight buffer to attack with someone else. And... GG. Yeah, oh, wait. No, that's not GG. That's a break. This is GG. Is that cool? Is that a cool thing to do? Who knows? Overkill, that means I get extra Haka for that. I'll take it. Solid attempt all around. We got the Haka off of it. We got the entire quest done. Hell yeah. Perfect. Um... Well, now I just fucking feel bad! Because now what I was saying earlier wasn't a joke! That was actually her protecting her family! Oh fuck, we rolled up with a CCG and Heisei and murdered her again. I guess if if Mado and Amon didn't do it, Heisei was going to, so... We just learned something about a what-if scenario. That's wonderful. God, the fact that the art includes Hinami makes it so much worse. That makes it, like, sting. That extra step of, like... Oof. Um... Actually, if we are going to, like, talk about that, that mother, why don't we fight the daughter as well? Because this is a new uh, boss fight anyway. Let's go for it. Uh, is she blue? She is blue as well. Let's go for it. I am down, hot diggity down. Alrighty, this is probably not going to last either, if I'm being honest. Honestly, I think I find this more fun than I should. Just this, like, cleanup after the entire war was over of just like, oh, these quests were problems before. Also, like, having to play all of those, like, the Rize, the Ghoul Haise, and the Kaneki quests that you had to grind tickets on, playing those manually, and like having to grind those forcibly every single time they came around, was a huge pain in the ass. And arguably the worst part of Occupation War last time. So, I am happy to have that behind me. Um, I think I am totally down to give myself extra AP here. Um, I don't know if Hinami is going to be great. However, I am going to build a combo with half Kutra Kaneki first, and then we're going to use Hayase's skill here. By the way, if this is the first episode you've ever seen of Reinvoke, because I imagine then, I, I imagine the fact that this is the announcement of the English one is going to bring people around. Um, this game is fantastic. It is my easily favorite. It is just stellar. The Ghoul High State that I currently have um, probably has the biggest wow factor of any gacha unit I've ever played with in any game, which is saying a lot because I fucking, I have rocked out with the best of them. So... I'm happy. I'm just glad this game is getting the recognition it deserves. Um, I am probably gonna... I'm going to be careful about this. I want to lower her health, but not kill her. Because... This can do it. Nice. No overkill. Damn it! I tried. Probably just gone. I should have just done number, another normal attack. It probably would have just saved me there. By either way, GG to another segment. I'm happy. Um, thank you so much for watching. That is about all I wanted to cover today. Uh, you will definitely see me if the... Well, either way, you're probably going to see me when the Shirazu banner drops because I just kind of want to talk about it. I want to see his actual skills because currently we only know about the fact that he's a breaker. He awakens, and he's kind of cool. 
somewhat. He can he can he can do some all right things. So yeah. Also, if Psycho's in there, you're definitely seeing me pull. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Take it easy. And if you haven't played Reinvoke yet, I think it's about time to get in. Bye for now.